Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. So with Ada, um, I don't like the look of what, what's happening here in this um, channel. Um, <laughs> it is not a clear impulse yet, so we have to recognize that it's very important if you're trading this in any way. Um, but I already mentioned to you, it's not necessarily a high probability setup that we see here at the moment. The problem that we had with this move to the upside, and for everybody who's new on this channel, I am looking ideally now at a wave two correction here. So I'm looking for ADA, yeah, or at ADA being in this five wave move to the downside. I can zoom out a little bit just to show you the movements since June, or I think it was actually the May low here for ADA, since the May low. And um, we've made a wave four to the upside that peaked here around 68 cents. And now we are in this five wave move to the downside. I think we are in the fifth wave. I consider this to be an ending diagonal pattern. That's an Elliott wave pattern. Um, <clears throat> it indicates that all of these sub waves are five wave moves, uh, sorry, three wave moves, ABC in each sub wave. And therefore I also have here in the fifth wave an ABC pattern. My view is that we're now in the C wave and the C wave again has five waves. For me, it's likely that we had a five wave move completed that was here around 24 cents. The five wave move is however most likely due to proportions and how I also look at the entire crypto market only the first wave of a larger five wave move. Yeah? So I wouldn't be surprised to see ADA go to 18 cents. That's the first key target here or 10 cents. With everything we're, we're doing and saying, yeah, I mean, I've been talking about ADA now for 15 months in this bear market. ADA certainly has come down enough to complete this bear market. So with all these coins, so we're talking about, we're talking about all altcoins and some, you know, it's easy to lose perspective of this, but with all altcoins, I always need to repeat it. The overall bear market can be over at any time. We need to be ready because those coins have now gone down as much as they normally would in a bear market. Yeah, some coins probably still have more more way to go. Certainly for most coins, I currently still expect lower lows. That's due to the price structure that they have developed of their most recent lows. But they, you know, we don't necessarily need to go to 10 cents. We also don't need to go to 18 cents. If we spot on any of these coins now, that's why it's so important to watch. If we spot any solid impulse to the upside, that would be a first sign that a low is in, but we're not there yet. And also here, the latest movements that ADA is doing off the low, they are not very convincing. They're not very impulsive. Um, this is certainly down here. I did expect some kind of a trend reversal. However, it's first of all, a bit too weak. I mean, yeah, it looks corrective. I mean, it, it is overall part of this corrective pattern. Yeah, if this is going to be a wave two, then however, still it should ideally consist of an ABC structure. The A wave ideally with five waves, it can be only three. Yeah, it can be three. An A wave can have only three waves. Um, but yeah, this, this is not a clear impulse that's currently developing here. I mean, we can argue that this was a wave one to the upside here. We came down in the wave two support area. We are moving up in a wave three. Ideally, I would like to get one more wave up here in the wave three. Um, or if the wave three is, no, yeah, we need one. We need one. Um, I would like to have one more leg up in the wave three, basically as wave five. As you can see here in this wave three with a circle, I'm currently counting um, three waves complete and the fourth wave ongoing, but I don't like the look of it. The wave three within the wave three wasn't really long enough. I mentioned that yesterday in the video. Normally what you would expect is at least the 1.618 FIP extension of the wave one. We only reached the 1.236. That's not a you know, that that doesn't mean we couldn't count it as a wave three. It just means it's less reliable, which means we may want to avoid in our trades. The wave four is currently coming down. Not a problem at the moment. In fact, that's what a wave four does, but it should not go below the 25.13 cent level. That's the 50% retracement. So either it moves up now or <clears throat> if it comes down further, Ideally, it doesn't cut into the price range of the wave one. If it cuts into the price range of the wave one, then all of this might again become a diagonal pattern. 
And you know, we need to we need to go with what the what the chart does, but certainly the situation that the wave three wasn't really long enough is a warning that this might turn into a diagonal. You know my view about di diagonals, they are unreliable. This could then become easily just a corrective wave pattern. We might break down again. So it's just a, an early warning really for you. Um, and a sign that I don't really like what I'm seeing here that is not following the ideal structures. When we are doing this analysis, we're looking for ideal structures to give us comfort in, in you know, that the child is actually doing what um, we think it should be doing. And if it doesn't do it, it might be worth either avoiding it or um, maybe just following it, putting on, on the watch list until until more confidence builds here that the child is actually doing what it should be doing. Um, at the moment, again, I, I don't like the look of it. And if we break into the price range of the wave one, which is at 25.04 cents or 05, then this is turning into something unreliable and we can then go with the channel. We can then, the, mainly what we can use then is the channel support and resistances. But the problem with that is that it is in, um, this could then very easily just, as I said, just be a corrective wave structure, which would eventually come down an impulse and may not even create this ABC structure to the upset in that extent. And we may get either a very shallow wave two, so that this wave two might not even be that strong um, or we are not even in the wave two yet and we are still in the wave one and maybe maybe this is just going to trickle down trickle down trickle down without any strong retracements but i think we need one at the at, at some point um to continue this this move down basically to charge up for the next move to the downside something similar to what solana just did um but let's see but yeah, that's my view about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.